The novel starts after the Battle of Endor, with the arrival of an Imperial droid to the site of the second Death Star. Wedge Antilles investigates the drone, but is nearly killed trying to prevent the drone from self-destructing. Luke Skywalker rescues Wedge, and the Alliance seizes the drone for investigation. The drone contains a distress call for the Emperor. From Governor Will Eknerius of Bakura, which is under attack from the reptilian C. Rook. With Palpatine dead and the Imperial Navy scattered, the Empire will most likely not aid Bakura. Luke Skywalker, after receiving a vision from the spirit of Obi-Wan Kenobi, volunteers to lead the Alliance Task Force to intercept the alien invasion and save Bakura. Han Solo and Leia Organa also accompany the Force in hope to possibly negotiate with either the aliens or the Imperials at Bakura. Although Han also wishes to spend more time with Leia. The rebels arrive at Bakura to find the planet under attack. From the bridge of the flurry, Luke Skywalker helps repel the attack. And an unofficial truce is established with Peter Thanos in orbit. After evading the Sea Rook vessels, Han, Leia, and Chewie meet up with Luke on the surface as part of a diplomatic entourage to the Bakurin Senate. Leia addresses the Senate while Luke finds himself attracted to a Bakurin Senator named Gariel Captison. Leia and Luke are told of Dev Zibwara a brainwashed force sensitive human who aids the Siruk. The Siruk hope to establish a beachhead in the larger galaxy in order to harvest a supply of beings whose energies can power their entechment technology. The entechment technology puts a being's soul inside a machine such as a spaceship. The Siruk themselves cannot sense the force, but they know it through Sibwara. At a social dinner, Governor Nereus confirms the truce with Princess Leia, the lead alliance diplomat, marking a historic first truce between the Empire and the Alliance. Instead of going to dinner, Luke opted to discuss tactics with Pater Thanos at the Imperial Garrison. In private, Leia struggles to find a way to cope with the revelation given to her on Endor that Darth Vader, the being responsible for the death of thousands of beings, is actually her father. The problem has been exasperated now that Anakin Skywalker's Force Ghost decided to start appearing to her, asking not for absolution, but for forgiveness. Fortunately, Leia's got a job to do that can distract her. Diplomacy with the Bakurins. Leia learned that Bakura joined the Empire three years ago. And Bakurans are not happy with Imperial rule. And neither are some of the Imperials, notably Officer Commander Peter Thanos. 
Do Imperial Governor Will Eckner, yes, is too crafty to let dissension spread too far. So, Leia has to be careful not to attract unwanted Imperial attention. She doesn't want to be charged with sedition, and she'd like to avoid any diplomatic incidents. Unfortunately, some rebels just shot several Bakurans in self-defense. Meanwhile, Luke Skywalker finds himself consistently distracted by one of Bakura senators, Gariel Captison. And there is definitely an attraction forming between them. Despite her religious objections to the Jedi Order, but he shows Gariel that the Force can be used for good. When he uses the Force to help a mentally infirmed Epi Biden and heal her mental damage using the Force. And at the same time, Princess Leia and Han Solo are also hashing out their newly forming relationship struggling to find some time together. But the Sith Rook are not so easily defeated and continue to threaten Bokura. The Jedi Knight Skywalker especially intrigued Sith Rook because his control of the Force can enable the Sith Rook to enslave beings from a distance once Skywalker is intact. Obi-Wan Kenobi appears to Luke again and underscores the danger of the Sisruk if they get into the greater galaxy with this technology. Meanwhile, Nereus makes a deal with the Sisruk. In exchange for their retreat, he will turn over Skywalker. Nereus secretly infects Luke with a deadly parasite that will kill him and the Sith Rook when they hatch. During the kidnapping, Luke manages to fight off the Sith Rook long enough for Gabriel to escape. Then Luke allows himself to be taken and is brought aboard the Sith Rook flagship. Once aboard, Luke Skywalker frees himself and fights his way out. Luke even manages to free Dev Sifwara of his brainwashing. The two men escape and sabotage the Sith Rook flagship, whereon Luke decides to take Dev on as an apprentice. Except Dev is injured during the escape and later dies of his wounds. Meanwhile, for talking with sympathetic Bakaran officials, Leia is arrested by Nereus for sedition and locked away in a remote estate. Han Solo launches a daring but foolhardy escape attempt, while Chewie, joined by Tripio, prepares the Falcon for escape. Han manages to break Leia out of prison, and they join the Alliance forces in orbit as a sea rook attack. On Bakura, riding breaks out in resistance against the Empire. The resistance being coordinated by a now recovered Epi Biden. Nereus summons Garrier Captison in an attempt to persuade her into getting the Senate to give him absolute control over Bakura in an attempt to demonstrate his power and show he's capable of defending against any enemy. Naria explains to Captain how he infected Luke Skywalker which would also infect the Sea Rook. And then Naria shows Captain how the Sea Rook fleet is retreating and then shocks Captain 
by ordering the Imperial fleet to turn on the Alliance. The surprise attack decimates the Alliance task force. On the Millennium Falcon, Han Solo sees he's surrounded and prepares a suicide ramming move to allow the remaining rebels to escape. But Luke Skywalker, who used the force to remove the parasites, has another plan. He uses the alien flagship to distract Thanos' fleet and the rebels escape. Back on Bakura, Nereus is overthrown by the resistant cells and captured. Han, Leia, Luke, and Chewie return to their planet, where Nereus, upon seeing Luke, attempts to attack them, but is killed in the process. Bakura decides to join the Alliance, and Commander Thanos defects to the Alliance as well. Luke finally gets to kiss someone other than his sister, but has to leave Gariel when the Alliance forces depart at the end of the novel. New Republic Intelligence later referred to the battle as the Bakura Incident, and believed that it would be best if the New Republic attempted to prevent widespread public knowledge of the Sis Rook and their enslavement technology. I thought the truce at Bakura was an okay adventure. The only memorable things from the novel is the crazy entechment technology that traps a person's consciousness inside a computer. That always creeped me out. The only lasting thing about this book is Gariel Captison. She appears in other novels in the future as kind of the one who got away for Luke Skywalker. Well, Monty, what did you think of the novel? Mr. Lott, there are velociraptors with guns in this novel. Any other story, I would love that, but not in a Star Wars story. It looks like that guy from Jurassic World is right. You can train raptors for military combat, but I digress. This villain is stupid, and this novel is boring. Alright then, let's get on with the grading. Monty gave the truce at Bukura an F, and I gave it a C. There are better Star Wars novels out there. Maybe save the truce at Bukura until you run out of the good Star Wars novels. I think we're done here.